Welcome aboard. This is the captain. And this is the first in my series of our units. Starting with Italy. As I mentioned in the intro video, we don't have Global War Europe and Pacific. We're using pieces from Axis and Allies Classic, Zombies, 1942. Uh, where we do have pieces from Europe and the Pacific, or even the board, it's because we bought them at HBG off their website. So we had to use substitutes for some of these units and piece Italy together from other countries. So starting with the infantry, militia, uh, all of our militia are some kind of kneeling um, position infantry, no prone, but kneeling, uh, not full standing, and that's how we represent militia, since they don't move for the most part. Base infantry for Italy, for the Marines, for all other infantry, we use colored bases, we paint them. So blue for Marines, amphibious, white for the paratroops, Black is usually our elite, so elite paratroops was a black and white cookie, half and half, in anticipation of version four when that comes out. Uh, for mountain, we've been using this sculpt that they have on HBG, really uh, discounted modern infantry that they were getting rid of, but love the ones with the backpacks. Um, they just jumped out to me as mountain infantry. We had been using these as, as an elite Alpine unit with the 1939 game. Uh, basically, they're Basiglieri. But uh, getting ready for version 4, we just made these uh, sculpts. The elite for all country, I'm sorry, the mountain infantry for all countries with a brown base instead of... Um, buying the discs. So this is what the standard mountain infantry will look like for Italy. And orange is colonial infantry. For artillery, um, we have this piece, which is uh, basically a house rule fixed anti-air, but we were able to get the um, out of box Italy anti-air, again from HBG. Love these Italian artillery pieces that came out recently in Combat Miniatures. Um, replaced all of my borrowed British artillery that the Italians have been using and gave them their own. Self-propelled artillery, um, blue barrel, so for all uh, vehicles there's some sort of paint on them, usually on the barrel if they're a tank. So self-propelled artillery. Red represents uh, any sort of heavy or technology driven unit that you don't just get out of the um, build at the beginning of the game. So heavy artillery and then we have an advanced or heavy self-propelled artillery. Again, the unit we house ruled. Vehicle class, uh, the cavalry. Uh, yellow for all of our motorized infantry. These trucks are technically the Japanese trucks, but they went well with Italy, and I used something else for Japan. Um, Italian mechs. The yellow represents armored cars. Um, not having version 3, we didn't realize how much or how little armored cars were used. Saw some of them in the expansion packs. Uh, got them for every country. Really enjoyed the sculpts. And uh, now they're not in the version 4 game, but when we play, we use them. Uh, same rules as cavalry, essentially, but they don't retreat. Light armor with the green barrel. Medium armor has the black barrel. Uh, this one is actually an out-of-box Italian armor, but there was a handful available on HBG one day, so I bought some tanks for Italy, uh, and I now use them as Italian tank destroyers with the orange. Advanced mechs, heavy armor, and then I think this is another house rule unit, amphibious tanks. Uh, we bought for every country except Germany and Russia. 
Um, basically, you get that technology and you can land these tanks in the first round of, com of an amphibious invasion. You don't need advanced transports, but just the tanks. All right. Navy, uh, transports. I did get a 1941 used box. I basically just took the pieces and threw everything else away. Um, so those are transports from 41. Advanced transports for the Italians. Red again. Subs. We have all the obsolete um, units you start with that you can't build. Get the gray. I think I saw several other people use the gray to designate these type of units. Um, General hand grenade was the first one I saw that had that. So black is the fleet submarine, and again red, advanced submarine. Surface ships, gray, torpedo boat destroyers, uh, bright green on the regular destroyers, uh, so they would stand out because there's several different navies that are green. Um, speaking of standing out, on the cruisers, very hard to see on camera, but in person it does stand out. You have the light cruiser blue, heavy cruiser purple, battle cruiser black. So those three colors just get darker. And then for battleships, yellow for the battleship, orange for the now phased out fast battleships, and red for heavy battleships. And then finally, escort carriers in purple, fleet carriers in yellow, and heavy carriers in red. Not that we expect to see very many heavy Italian carriers. And then if we go to the fleet, Air Force, these are, I think, Dutch um, seaplanes. Seaplanes are the only ones I didn't magnetize and put on stands. I want them down in the water. Um, out of the box, classic air units uh, are most countries tactical bombers, orange tips, and stealing a page from Sky Marshall. Love the beads uh, to help them stand out, so we use these, our version of that, matching the wingtip uh, on the stands. So those are our tactical bombers for the Italian Air Force. Fighters for the Italian Air Force are yellow. And then advanced fighters or jet fighters, red. Again, all advanced technology, red. Transports, black and white stripes. Universal, every country has those on the wingtips uh, with the black tip on the black and white being air transport. And then the red tip being these new heavy transports for version four. These planes, I think, are a German heavy transport or heavy bomber experiment um, unit on HBG, but I'd already picked my German sculpts and thought the Italians could use them as well. Again, from 1941, pieces. These are the two bombers that come with Germany and Japan in that game, so we gave those to Italy since Germany and Japan had their own bombers already. Uh, repurposed bombers, I think out of box from the Soviet Union. These are the strategic bombers with black tips. So purple, black, and then red again for the advanced technology for the heavy bombers or heavy strategic bombers, whatever they are. And that is Italy.